this is Sindam Patel and welcome back to the video lecture series of the fundamentals of machine design. In this lecture, we are going to learn the design procedure of the lever loaded safety valve. Uh, I know that we have not covered any desi design procedure for the lever loaded safety valve, but we have seen the design procedure of the uh, two different types of the lever. Uh, first one is the rocker arm lever and the second one is the bell crank lever. And this is uh, another similar type of the lever design uh, in which few steps are going to change and I will not point out those steps so that you can understand how to calculate the lever loaded safety wall examples. So if you have not seen the previous videos to clarify those concepts then please check out those videos uh, where we have explained the design procedure and uh, calculation methods to solve the examples of the lever, rocker arm lever and the bell crank lever. So in this particular lecture we are going to learn the design procedure of the lever loaded safety valve. So let us get started with the first slide which contains the given data which was asked in your examination like this. Okay, so a lever loaded safety valve of 70 mm diameter is required to blow off at a pressure of 1 mega Pascal. So this is the pressure at which the lever is going to work. Okay, so this is the pressure at which we, we require our lever to blow off. Okay, so this is the maximum amount of the pressure uh, which is to be uh, which is to be endured or which is to be uh, suffered by the lever. So let us get started with the annotation so that you can have the clear idea about this. So uh, the maximum pressure uh, which is applied on the lever during the working condition that is 1 mega Pascal. The lever uh, as well as the pin are made up of the mild steel. So mild steel values uh, design of the lever of the rectangular cross section and uh, pin at the valve spindle uh, uh, with the following data. So we need the cross section and the pin dimensions at the valve spindle and not at the fulcrum. So we are going to calculate over here where the valve spindle is attached onto the lever. So this is our valve spindle where we are going to calculate the rest of the example and not at the fulcrum that is the major change from the previous two designs. In the previous designs we were calculating each and every data or the we were calculating the bending moment or we were taking the moment distance from the fulcrum itself. But now we are taking the moment distance from the valve spindle itself. Okay, so, so this is the major change which you need to keep, into, keep in your mind while calculating the uh, examples of the lever loaded safety valve. So what we are going to do next is we uh, as per the given data the distance between the weight of weight and the fulcrum. So in this uh, type of a lever the weight is put on the lever to keep it in the as it is condition or we can say that the weight is our effort. So the distance between the weight and the fulcrum is nothing but the LP. So this is the LP and uh, the distance between the fulcrum and the valve spindle valve spindle is the uh, point at which the pressure is uh, applied or this is the load which is required to be manipulated and that is why we can say that this, this distance is the uh, fulcrum and the valve spindle, uh, valve spindle distance which is our load arm which is our load arm which is represented as LW. So this is uh, our LW uh, 80 mm permissible tensile stress for the mild steel is a 70 mega Pascal. So sigma t is given. Sigma t is also known as a sigma b. Now the permissible shear stress for the mild steel that is 50 mega Pascal and bearing pressure or uh, for the pin is 25 mega Pascal. All this data is mentioned in the uh, given data like this that the diameter of the valve is a 20, 70 mm. Maximum pressure is 1 Newton per mm square. LP is 880 mm, LW is uh, uh, 80 mm, uh, sigma T is 70 Newton per mm square, tau is 50 Newton per mm square, MPB is 25 Newton per mm square. So this was the uh, given data. Now we will see our first step to calculate the uh, load due to the steam pressure. Now in this type of a lever, 
our load which is to be manipulated or which is to be controlled is due to the pressure so pressure equation of force upon area will be utilized in order to calculate the uh, load w so we will utilize the equation of the pressure that is w equals to pressure into area now the diameter of the spindle valve is given which indicates that the spindle valve is having the cross section of the circu circular shape and that's why uh, we have calculated the cross section area as a pi by 4 d square the dv value is provided in the given data and uh, that's why the cal calculation of the w will not be the big hassle for you uh, that's why you can directly calculate it in a exam uh, uh, calculators so w is 3848.5 newton and uh, from this w we are going to calculate the effort or the p or the dead weight which is required to uh, keep the lever in the as it is posi position otherwise if you do not put this effort or the uh, w the lever will blow, blow off below the one pressure one, one mega pascal and that's why it is required to calculate the weight p uh, according to the principle of the lever that is w into lw equals to p into lp now using this equation lw is already provided lp is already provided now you need to consider the only p as an unknown because w is already calculated in the first step and that's why w is known now from this equation if you make the p as a subject you will get the answer as a 349.9 newton as you can see there is a lot drastic change in the w and p w is uh, 3848.5 and p is 349.9 so there is a huge difference between both the forces or the effort and the load which is required to be controlled now we will see the third step of our example that is the dimension of the pin at the valve spindle now the valve spindle it itself now the valve spindle itself is having the uh, fulcrum type of a mechanism where the uh, pin is inserted in order to, uh, to pin the valve spindle. So D is the diameter of the valve, uh, pin, uh, di valve spindle pin and LB is the length of the valve spindle pin. So we have assumed LB equals to 1.25 times D which is similar from the previous two designs. Now uh, using the equation of PB there is only one change in the equation of PB that instead of the R RF we are going to use W over here because we have utilized the RF because we were calculating this PB at the fulcrum right now we are calculating this PB at valve spindle now in order to consider the valve spindle the force which is acting at a valve spindle is required to be considered in your equation and the w is the force which is acting at the valve spindle and that's why this equation is modified like this now we have the value of pv from the given data lb is assumed as 1.25 times d so the equation contains only one unknown that is d and if you make it as a subject and calculate it using the calculator you will get the answer as a 11.1 mm that is 12 mm now uh, if you put this value in your assumption you will get the answer of the lb and lb and d both are known now but as i said in the previous lecture that you we are utilizing an, one assumption for the calculation of the design and that's why we may, we have to ascertain whether this design is safe or not in during the working condition then we will you have to calculate the value of the shear stress using this equation so this equation contains the value of w so w is uh, already known uh, from the previous steps we have just calculated the value of diameter then we can directly calculate the uh, value of tau making it as a subject so if you calculate the value of tau it comes out to be the 7.01 newton per mm square and this value is compared with the given value which is 50 newton per mm square and it is visible that our design is safe during the working condition so our design is safe during the working condition although we have utilized one assumption but that assumption is working for our working condition so we are going to see or we are going to uh, calculate our fourth number of step that is the diameter of the boss of the lever now the diameter of the boss of the lever 
uh, a outer diameter is do and inner diameter is di but inner diameter is calculated using the same method that is d plus three ta uh, 2 times 3 that is the thickness of the bush and it will give you the answer of 18 mm but the outer diameter do is calculated in different manner because what happens in this example uh, this is the basic cross section of the uh, boss but uh, in this cross section we need to consider the first wall spindle we need to consider the wall spindle and not the fulcrum this is the fulcrum and this is the spindle so our aim is to calculate the distance at the spindle and not at the fulcrum so uh, our load is uh, lifted over here this much distance is lp and this much distance is lw so this is lp distance this is lw distance so in order to calculate this distance our it is visible that this distance is nothing but lp minus lw this is nothing but the lp minus lw and this distance is inserted into the equation of the moment like this we know the value of lp we know the value of lw we have calculated the value of p and from this values we are going to calculate the moment that is 2.79 into 10 raised to 5 newton into mm now using that moment we can directly utilize the equation of the bending stress that is my by i for the calculation of moment of inertia we need this cross section view and that is the cross section of the boss now this is similar to the previous two design there is no change in the uh, equation uh, simplification but the only change is in the calculation of the moment because the distance which we were taken uh, which we have taken in the previous design is changed to lp minus lw this is changing step there is the only change in this step okay so uh, if you make the if you put each and every values for of, of all the parameter there will be only one unknown in the equation that is do by the simplification you will get the equation in terms of the uh, cubic equation of the do so uh, by the trial and error method you will get the answer of the do as 41.71 mm that is 42 mm now this 42 mm is using the bending stress now we, we can as we can easily calculate the diameter do using the empirical relation that is 2d equals to 24 but it is visible that we need to take the larger answer and that's why we will go for the 42 mm do okay so this was the end of our step number four we will see our step number five that is the diam dimension of the fulcrum pin so the dimension of the fulcrum pin uh, is rf equals to p w minus p so w minus p rf is calculated okay so using that uh, it is not very much different from the at spindle wall therefore the same dimension can be adopted for the fulcrum pin dimension of the lever cross section that is the last step of our example and this step ca can be calculated using this equation but this equation contains lp lp minus lw lw minus do by 2 minus do by 2 this is our distance which is at the distance of the uh, lever cross section at the wall spindle and that's why this step is also changing as per the previous uh, procedure by the calculation you will get the answer of m and if you put the value of m in this equation you will get the dimensions of the cross section like this so this is so far the similar from the previous design and that's why we are not wasting our time in it you can easily calculate this type of a step if you take this uh, few changing point in, you can, in your mind uh, if you learn those steps then you will be able to solve your example easily okay so we conclude our lecture over here and we will see the next few topics of our syllabus in the upcoming lecture till then thank you